Hi everyone, welcome back to A Gunpla. For today, we're gonna do another unboxing and we're gonna unbox the GAT-04 Wyndham. This is a Gundam from the Gundam Seed Destiny anime series. And the Wyndham is actually the Earth Allied Forces flagship mass-produced mobile suit. As you can see from the box art, this is a cool mobile suit. This is a first looking mobile suit. This is actually a grunt suit from, from Gundam Seed Destiny. I'm, I'm not familiar with it, I haven't watched the Gundam Seed Destiny yet, but this is a cool looking mobile suit with the, uh, I could say it's a, it's a duotone mobile suit with just blue and white as their color. And uh, it's a nice looking grunt suit. So it's away from the usual grunt suit that we have, like the Leo, the Zaku, the other grunt suit out there. But yeah, this is a cool looking grunt suit. So this was released in 2020. So it's a fairly new model kit base at the time of this video. It was released in May 2020 to be exact. So as you can see from the box art, the double Gundam actually has a jet striker here with an air-to-surface missile and some of the unguided rocket pods here, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see what's at the side of this box. So at the side of the box, we can actually see the weapons. Here are the weapons of the Wyndham. So the Wyndham has a two beam sabers, a beam rifle, and a shield, as well as the ammunition for the jet striker. So we have a air to surface missile, as well as an unguided rocket pods here. This is the front and back view of the Wyndham. Look at that jet striker there it looks good at the side is the actions for the mobile suit so you can see it says the jet striker pack is articulated so probably you can you can actually move it up and down and you can actually close the wing so the other part of the action it says Various striker pack from the high grade series can be attached to the back of the body. That's that's really really nice. So you could actually kit push, put some additional weapon here. So it says here fine build. This is the first time I've actually experienced this. And it says maintains both an easy assembly and high quality. So it says the new joint structure allow both an easy assembly and wide range of articulation. So I've experienced this kind of joint from the NPD Leo. And then, yeah, it's actually nice um, to assemble and disassemble it. And the articulation is pretty, pretty nice compared to the other Polycaps base articulation. So we're gonna see how does that perform on the review video. And then on the other side, it's the usual format. So we have the cover art here at the side. So this blue square here, it's a blue, or I said it's blue square, which means it's coming from the Gundam Seed Destiny. And at the other side, it's in an artwork for the Wyndham and a short description about the Wyndham. So if you want to pause this, to check, uh, please do so. Again, some some of the warnings here, and then the other side is another box art. <clears throat> it's another artwork, the same as the box art. So that's the. The box of the Wyndham. So if you're wondering, again, the size of this box is 29.8 centimeter in uh, length and 19 centimeter in height, and then six centimeter deep. So that's six six centimeter deep 
at the time this video this mobile kit cost around 1300 yen and we're gonna move on with the content of the box so let's see what's inside the box this is the first bag so we're gonna open this in a little bit and check the indi individual runners this is the second bag and this actually is popping out it's striking so the the model kit doesn't have much sticker in it but look at the size of that sticker i'm gonna check that one and i'm not excited to put this on so there you go we have the third and last uh, bag so all in all we only have a few runners in it so i'm gonna open that later and then we have the manual so the manual oh this this model kit looks awesome look at that model kit i like the the shoulder there it's a little bulky compared to the body but man it, it looks menacing i like it so we're gonna open this later so let's see what's inside the box so let's start with the manual so uh this is a, a small manual compared to the other manual but the image in front of the manual looks really really good it looks awesome look at this the face of this model kit so looks feisty and the shoulder looks bulky but it looks good on the whole body itself i really like that so let's see what's inside so the inside at first you can see that that's the color instruction but this is the runner list and the usual morning at the top and then the runner list and then after that it's the instruction so this is a straightforward and a quick build as a looking at the at the instruction looks okay then the the, the colored instruction here at the back so that's the um, the backpack you can see the backpack there the weapons in here pretty pretty usual and then at the back you have some poses looks cool that's nice and then the same image and description just like what we saw from the side of the box and then the color guide so if you want to repaint your your model kit and to be more accurate so here are the information you can see so you can just pause if you want those information and that's the manual we have the a runner here so it's in four colors so we have the yellow there and then the lighter gray here and then the blue and this is a bluish green parts so this is the torso this is part of the the backpack uh this is the b runner so we have two b runners this is b1 and this is b2 so b2 is a duplicate so that's the uh, items for the feet or the legs rather and then here is the the one for the shield the skirt armor back skirt armor and then this one is the head so that's the the b runners this is the c runner so the c runner has also a c1 and c2 and this is a duplicate of that part so some of the joints and the ammunition for the for the backpack this is the feet and these are the joints for the hips and the weapons for this model kit we only have uh, five runners so this is the polycaps so very standard polycaps and then we have the sb or the sabers beam saber so this is the the usual pink saber which is fairly standard 
and then we have the stickers I don't know about you but I hate these stickers mainly the the size of the stickers is so large the number of them is pretty standard but the size of them is humongous I guess so I'm not excited to use this but I'm gonna I'm gonna check when I'm building the model kit and I'm gonna let you know during the review and that's the unboxing for the Wyndham GAT04 so this is the high grade cosmic era number 232 Wyndham so the kit is a fairly standard model you only have five runners I recommend this for beginners mainly because it's cheaper and number two it's that it's a good looking Gundam or a good looking model kit and the build is really straightforward that a beginner could actually start building this as an intro for Gantla. And my final note is that this sticker. I really hate it. I kept telling you guys within this video and I'm not excited about it. But I'm really excited to build this and see how it will look like. And if you really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. As well as turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I send out these kinds of video. I really appreciate if you subscribe and thank you for watching.